Okay, so our team is Space Freeze. And like you guys all know, peer to peer has disrupted all kinds of old style work, style work industries, uh, like Airbnb with hotels, uh, get around car rentals. And we are wanting to tackle the next enormous opportunity in the, uh, by creating a peer to peer marketplace. And that is in storage and parking spaces. So what we're wanting to do is we're wanting to improve sustainability by letting people leverage the space that already exists and is currently being unused or underutilized. Space like driveways, garages, attics, you, know, you name it. Um, the storage can be for short or long term, so it could just be like a parking spot for a few hours, and it could be um, a long term storage solution for, say, a boat or an ATV or, or any other kind of equipment you might have. Um, we bring value and enhance the experience specifically for EV drivers by showing uh, private charging options as well as integrating with ChargePoint's API to make it easier to find. So uh, these are two of the mockups, and then we're going to show you what we've actually accomplished in 24 hours, which is a working product. Thanks, Andrew. <laughs> So thanks for team, and this is what we come up in uh, within 24 hours, and we got a working um, uh, web app. So um, as you can see, that we can look for space for our, for the car to park, and then for toys and any other belongings. And for location, we say we input the location, say uh, Golden Gate Park, San Francisco, and then drop off time like 8 a.m. May 1st, 2000, like yeah, 2013, and then 8 p.m. So, um, and then we can click on search, and then pay, okay, APM, yeah. So, <coughs> so we have a pricing model that based on the, your pricing needs. And also we address the problem of sustainable parking by integrating the charge points API. So you can list all the, all the results that has charging, charging stations. And also like, you know, we have a price sorting. And also we, we integrate Twitter um, API for, um, uh, and also the payment, PayPal, when we book, the simplified booking. So say we book this um, A, A25 Coast Street. And one exciting, one exciting part of this, that uh, we have instant SMS like, notification to the owner of the space that your space is been, being rented out. And then, um, so we can complete this process by finding dynamic pricing um, of uh, available parking space for any other parking or any other space you are looking for. So um, you can also um, like sign up by Facebook, have a you know, a, a more authentication. Yeah. So. Oh. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Any questions? Yeah. Can you go back to the previous slide? Yes. Uh, I, I got the yeah I got that you're using charge point API to get the EV parking yeah. spots, right? Yes. What about the other ones that you said? So um, so we use main three APIs. So for charge points that get all the public charging uh, charging uh, parking space that have charging stations, and also our Twilio is that we integrate into the database for the. Um, it's kind of like a third party that the owner has a, uh, they, their phone number and the renter's phone number are private. The Twilio placed as a middleman that has this uh, public Twilio number. So once your space is booked, the Twilio will send out a confirmation message <laughs> to the owner saying your space at, the, at 325 Coast Street has been booked. This reservation is completed and payment completed. But you have to tap into other um, parking space providers, APIs. Um, is, that, is that possible? Yeah. Right now, we just have it set up as a private marketplace. So, say, like, I live in the Sunset. I have a like a garage space as well as a driveway. And if I want to rent that out to somebody, I could list my space, a la you know lots of other like Airbnb's model, right? And then someone else uh, can come along and book it, essentially. Yeah, so, so I make a little bit of money. We take a cut off of that. Um, and it saves. Well, I like the concept that I can, you know, I've got a contract for Warfield. I want to park my car there. I can book that ahead of time. Yeah. So what kind of lead time are you talking? You know, how much? How much notice do you have to give the charging system if it's private residence or, or a uh, or a business?
business? Because you said, you know, I saw me first. So, still a few days away. So basically, like the, the technically it's real time. time. Yeah, and real time. Test of real time. Okay. So the notification is real time, yeah. and the and the pre sign up by the by the owners. The owners say I'm available. Say like this time. This time. Yes. So we have a membership system. Can you guys find out if anyone else is doing this already? So the closest uh, competitor we found is a company called Park at My House, okay. and they're based in the UK. Um, actually, they're funded by BMW Ventures. Okay. And um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so they're doing this in the UK, and they're just fo focused on parking spaces. So utilizing literally your garage or your um, driveway, and it's specifically for vehicles. And we wanted to expand that concept to maybe you want to store some boxes, or you've got like, snowboarding equipment, and you live in a small little apartment downtown. Yeah, there's so. no need for that in San Francisco, right? <laughs> <laughs> and also, I think our, our unique, like, um, compared to other and other competitors, so what do you think of this? We address the sustainability. So, like, we have integrated the charging stations. Yeah. And also, we have, we send out real-time instant message systems when you're Facebook. So, um, so basically, um, we have things that that's can, can be scalable to, to all kinds of spaces. Also, like, uh, charging station especially for EV drivers. So, good job. Yeah. Good job. Thanks. Yep.